Nicola Sturgeon has warned Scotland, remaining part of the United Kingdom is a riskier option than independence as she attempted to persuade Labour voters to gamble with a yes vote in September's referendum. The Deputy First Minister used the Nationalists' first major intervention of 2014 to try and turn the tables on the Unionists, who have repeatedly highlighted uncertainty over issues such as a separate Scotland's currency. Well, here's an interesting thought for you. When David Cameron was petitioned to hold a referendum over the UK's membership of the EU, he did his utmost to whip that out of the House. When asked about a referendum for an independent Scotland, he couldn't do enough to help. Now let's be clear, the political rhetoric has made it absolutely clear that Scotland is not going to be independent. It simply wants to move from being overseen by the Parliament in Westminster to the Parliament in Brussels. The European Union has a regional vision for the UK, and two of those regions are Scotland and Wales, wholesale. Does it not strike you as odd that both these regions have their own parliaments? A truly independent Scotland would look much more like Iceland, in our opinion, which would involve a wholesale repatriation of governance back to the people of Scotland, which, well, frankly, under a democratic system, is what should have been in the first instance. 